Connecting continents, a world underwater, we've conquered mountains, spanned rivers and even carved paths through solid rock. But nothing compares to the challenge of building underwater. See, humans, we're land creatures. Water, especially the deep dark kind, is a whole different beast. That's why underwater tunnels are such a big deal. Imagine driving your car and suddenly, you're surrounded by tons of ocean. Sounds crazy, right? But that's what it's like to travel through the world's longest underwater tunnel. This engineering marvel isn't just a shortcut, it's a testament to human ingenuity. These tunnels aren't about breaking records, they're about breaking barriers. They connect communities, boost economies, and redefine what's possible. In this series, we're going deep, diving into the hows and whys of building the world's longest underwater tunnel. We'll meet the engineers, the workers, the folks who risked it all to connect two points beneath the waves. This is their story, a story of grit, determination, and a whole lot of steel. Mapping the deep, planning an epic journey. Building underwater isn't like throwing up a garden shed. It's a massive undertaking that starts long before the first bit of dirt is moved. It begins with a map, a vision, and a whole lot of planning. Engineers spend years studying the seabed, looking for the best route. It's like finding a needle in a haystack, except the haystack is a giant, watery abyss, and the needle is a path for a multi-billion dollar tunnel. They consider everything, the type of rock, the faults, the currents, even the fish. Then there's the design phase. Think of it like choosing the right tool for the job, but instead of a hammer or a saw, they're picking between gigantic boring machines and specialized concrete mixes. Each decision has to be perfect because the ocean doesn't forgive mistakes. And let's not forget about Mother Nature. You can't just bulldoze your way through the ocean floor. Engineers work tirelessly to minimize the impact on marine life. Think of it as brain surgery. Every move has to be calculated and precise. Digging deep building from the bottom up, so how do you actually build a tunnel underwater? It's not like you can just hire a scuba diving crew with jackhammers. Think bigger, way bigger. First, you need to create a dry space to work in. It's like building a giant bathtub upside down on the seabed. They use massive steel sheets called sheet piles to hold back the water and then pump out the seawater to create a dry work environment. There are a few ways to dig a tunnel underwater, but the most common method for really long stretches is called tunnel boring. Imagine a giant metal worm chewing its way through the earth, except this worm is controlled by a team of brilliant engineers. The art of shield tunneling, a symphony of steel and earth. Tunnel boring machines or TBMs are the unsung heroes of underwater construction. These behemoths are like giant factories on wheels designed to cut, dig and build all at the same time. Picture this a massive steel cylinder, longer than a football field, with a rotating cutter head at the front. As the TBM inches forward, the cutter head grinds away at the earth, excavating the tunnel as it goes. It's a slow, grinding process, but these machines are relentless. But it's not just about digging. Behind the cutter head, the TBM places concrete segments to line the tunnel walls, like a giant, self-building Lego set. And all of this is happening under immense pressure with millions of tons of water pushing down from above. Section 5. Water, water everywhere. Keeping the ocean at bay. Building underwater is a constant battle against the elements, and the biggest enemy is, you guessed it, water. One tiny leak can spell disaster, so waterproofing is mission critical. Think of it like a giant high-stakes game of Tetris. As the TBM installs each concrete segment, Engineers pump a special sealant into the gaps to create a watertight barrier. This sealant expands as it dries, filling every nook and cranny. But the real magic happens in the concrete itself. They don't just use any old mix. This stuff is specially engineered to withstand the immense pressure and corrosive nature of seawater. It's like building a fortress, one concrete block at a time. Section 6 the deep dive challenges in the abyss. Building the world's longest underwater tunnel wasn't a walk in the park. It was more like climbing Mount Everest, underwater. Every single day brought new challenges, new risks, and new problems to solve. One of the biggest headaches, unpredictable geology. 
You can't just ask the ocean floor to behave itself. Sometimes, the rock was harder than granite. Other times, softer than butter. And don't even get me started on the fault lines. Then there's the issue of depth. The deeper you go, the higher the pressure. It's like working in a giant vise, with the ocean slowly squeezing you from all sides. That puts a lot of stress on the equipment, and even more stress on the workers. Section 7. Innovation Under Pressure Engineering Solutions for Extreme Depths When the going gets tough, the tough get innovative. To overcome the challenges of building at such depths, engineers had to get creative, pushing the boundaries of what was possible. Take ventilation for example. You can't exactly open a window down there. So, they designed massive ventilation shafts that stretched all the way to the surface, like giant underwater straws, providing fresh air to the workers below. And then there's the matter of communication. Walkie-talkies don't work underwater, so they had to develop special underwater communication systems, allowing teams to stay in contact even when they were miles apart. It was like talking to the moon, but instead of astronauts, it was construction workers. Section 8. A lifeline below. Ensuring worker safety in a high-risk environment. Building a tunnel underwater is dangerous work, period. The pressure is immense. The environment is unforgiving, and one wrong move can have dire consequences. Safety was paramount. Workers weren't just building a tunnel, they were surviving down there. They had to undergo specialized training, learning how to work safely under pressure, how to escape in case of emergency, and even how to administer first aid in a hyperbaric environment. And let's not forget about the decompression chambers. These lifesavers were strategically placed along the tunnel route, ready to treat workers for the bends, a potentially deadly condition caused by surfacing too quickly. Section 9. Bridging the Gap. The Impacts of a Submerged World. Building the world's longest underwater tunnel wasn't just about digging a hole, it was about building bridges. Bridges between communities, economies, and even cultures. Think of the impact on transportation. What used to be a long, arduous journey by ferry or plane is now a quick and easy trip through a tunnel. This opens up a world of possibilities for trade, tourism, and even just visiting family and friends. And let's not forget about the economic boost. These mega projects create thousands of jobs, from engineers and construction workers to the local businesses that support them. It's a ripple effect, lifting entire regions. Section 10, a legacy in steel and stone, the future of underwater engineering. The world's longest underwater tunnel isn't just a marvel of engineering, it's a testament to human ambition. It shows us that we can overcome any obstacle, no matter how deep or how daunting, but this isn't the end of the story, it's just the beginning. This project has paved the way for even more ambitious underwater endeavors. Imagine floating cities, underwater farms, even entire communities living beneath the waves. The possibilities are endless. This tunnel is a legacy, a legacy in steel and stone that will inspire generations to come. It's a reminder that we can achieve anything we set our minds to, even if it means conquering the depths of the ocean. Section 11. Conclusion, Deeper and Further. The uncharted waters ahead. We've come a long way from the first tentative steps beneath the waves. The world's longest underwater tunnel is a testament to human ingenuity, a shining example of what we can achieve when we push the limits of what's possible. But it's more than just a tunnel. It's a symbol of progress, a beacon of hope, and a reminder that the future is what we make it. As we continue to explore the uncharted waters of our planet, let this incredible feat of engineering serve as a constant source of inspiration. The world's longest underwater tunnel is a reminder that the only limits are the ones we set for ourselves. So let's dive deeper, reach further, and continue to explore the boundless possibilities that lie beneath the waves. Who knows what incredible marvels await us in the depths?